Now, after Governor Bill Lee put into a law an action that some private public funding can go to private schools for profit, some schools in our surrounding area have opposed that. This week, Governor Bill Lee issued his State of the State Address, which included the Education Freedom Scholarship Act. But needless to say, there are some upset parents and teachers who believe there should be an alternative option for public schools funding. We believe that public school funding should, our taxpayer dollars, should go to public school funding. Um, and so we had school teachers and retired school teachers and parents um, speak out about um, the strong importance of public education and keeping public dollars um, in public schools to support and educate everyone. The Education Freedom Scholarship Act grants for publicly funded voucher programs that benefit for-profit private schools, but these concerned parents and teachers believe this should apply to all schools. You know, everyone has the right to choose what kind of school um, is best for their kids. We just believe that public dollars and taxpayer money should go to support public schools because we believe in the dream of public schools educating everyone. Both McMinn County and Athens City School Boards have passed resolutions opposing Governor Lee's voucher proposal, and the Public Schools Strong Program is calling on all lawmakers to fully fund public schools. There, there are great teachers, but I, you can kind of tell that they're getting, they get a little bit tired, they get a little bit worn out, um, so they, I would like to give them more support, more resources, um, so that they can teach what needs to be taught, the way it needs to be taught. McMinn County is one of four counties participating in this week of action. For more information on upcoming events, visit the statewide Organizing for Community Empowerment website. Reporting from Athens, I'm Jacob Ombi, News 12.